All right, so I'm gonna hang out with Greg. For wait this, for this playthrough. I mean, wait. Oh, I thought you said you're gonna do B. No, I said I want to save B because I'll probably enjoy that more. So I don't oh. want to get that. Oh, okay. I don't want to do that now. I want to save that for later. Oh, I like how it mailbox kind of opens a little bit when you. Oh well, then you're gonna be doing it in different order than me. Yeah. That's what I said. Oh, you can jump up the fence. Yeah. Jump on the... No. No. Dang. Welcome to a whole new world, Ace! <laughs> hey, May. Hey, Selmers. Did I see you with the journal the other day? Oh, yeah, doctor's orders. Oh, yeah, Dr. Hank has me doing one, too. Oh, okay, do you have anger problems, too? I was stealing painkillers from the Ham Panther Pharmacy. Oh, jeez. So Dr. Hank sees journals as a general cure-all. Is it working for you? Nope. Rehab in the program do though. I've become a very good poet. Wanna hear one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you plan on doing everything in your first playthrough, listen yeah. to everything she has to say. Yeah. My heart is a dankness, but when I see you, I feel a thankness. <laughs> wow, that's really nice. When I feel a blueness, all I need is a hewness. It's very romantic. It's about my horse. Oh. We're just friends. <laughs> Mr. Chavikov's up on the roof again. Pretty sure he's gonna break his damn neck. Ta da! It's, it's Silver's Silver. Silver. poet. Oh, poet. Is this supposed to be her hair or a crown? Probably her hair, since oh, okay. she has hair. Unless she has crown hair. <laughs> Kinda does. What's up? If he falls through one of my windows, I will not hesitate to take legal action. Who? Him, up there on the roof, next door. If he falls from. If he falls from that roof through a window, you're gonna have to pick which part of him you're going to sue. Terror piece is the biggest. I can hear you, you know. <laughs> I don't remember inviting you up here. Sorry. This is awful familiar of you. So yeah, so, now you get to learn how to get up to him. No, I've, I've been up there before. Well, then get up there. Should I do it now? Yes. I thought I was supposed to like meet him at night to do... Uh, what, uh, ain't you do star looking during the day? Ain't no stars out during the day. Well, how do you know? Because I live in the world He's a where... Russian immigrant who's a science <laughs> teacher. What are you, Ace? <laughs> I'm a cat. Yeah, <laughs> one that ain't a science major. You know science, just... Ace. <laughs> science! You don't got no science. Should've missed. All right. Oh, can I sit on that? Okay, I can. <laughs> Yay, no fall damage. Mebarowski! You could have knocked on the door down there. No, you couldn't. <laughs> and polite to be on other people's roofs. Next time I'm gonna call the cops. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> At any rate, I'm glad you accepted my invitation. What are you doing anyway? Hunting Dusk Stars! <laughs> this is the name of my shoegaze man. Oh yeah, I heard that fucking regular car reviews uh, mention like what what is a shoegaze band? And apparently it's like this type of weird punk emo where they come out on stage, don't put on any sort of show, and everyone just kind of has their heads down looking at their shoes. Apparently that's what shoegaze is. Well, <laughs> that would be good for people who are anxious at looking at crowds. <laughs> they just look down at their converse. And... Yeah. 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 What's the stars? Wandering stars, the light of which does not come through at night. Oh, what? How does that work? <clears throat> it's the trick of the atmosphere and setting sunlight. Only visible for a few weeks a year. In the spring and the fall. So lovely. Neato. Want to have a look? Yeah. Maybe later. Yeah. Excellent! Alright. Holy crap, my eyes! Oh, you want to put the filter on like so. Jeez. <laughs> the sun is bright to make you blind. You know, you didn't think to mention this? I just did! Now you get to go star so... hunting. Oh. Ah. Is it that? Found one! Cool. Let me have a look! Oh, okay. Ah, yes, Dora the Murderer! <laughs> okay, I'm interested. 
Thor passed the passed the burn the king's procession on the street. Thor was quiet, said nothing, and the king took offense to this. Why? Royalty is strange. <laughs> so what happened? <clears throat> Baron insulted Dor, Dor's family, Dor's village, and so on, until he was down to insulting Dor's chickens. <laughs> Damn. Dor first murdered Baron's chickens, then his ancestral village, then his family. Holy crap. And then when he came to Baron, the king was silent. I'm gonna get a tattoo of this guy. Is Dor a hero? Totally. <laughs> like if you've been told you're nothing before, a story like this sounds pretty cool, pretty okay. Well, it is a true story, and real people died, and you should feel terrible. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> <clears throat> is there more? Yes, you can do two. I think it's it a. It looks uh, like those, but I think it's a set thing. You gotta basically listen and watch the uh... <laughs> thunk, like it bounces off of the thing. Yeah, whenever you hear uh, the, how far can I go the wobblies. Down. Yeah, the controller shakes too. Is that it? Nope. Oh, that one? Yep. <clears throat> Found one, I think. Let me have a look. <laughs> ah, yes, cast this. <laughs> totally, it is. <laughs> What's cast this? This star tells the story of a woman who built a tower to heaven, and for this, the gods sunk her deep into the sea. Wow, that's screwed up. But even in the depths, she refused to die. Damn straight. Oh, you never die as well? Never. <laughs> Defy Castus's gods also, will you? <laughs> the gods in these stories are also our only stand-ins for things we cannot control. You might say floods or the cancer or such. No to all of them. This is fair. I believe we have seen both stars visible today. Oh, really? They come and go so fast. That's pretty great. We can look again two days time. Will you be back? Oh, yeah, if I remember. <clears throat> oh, you will be. No one can resist the stars forever. That's spooky, <laughs> spooky, Mr. Chazikov. So yeah, try to keep track of uh, <laughs> how many days it's been, or at least go uh, up there and check to see if he's up. Oh, there. cool. She so drew the. Yep. <laughs> yeah, a little bee. Did you get my texts? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, now the game is actually going to really kick off. First you're introduced to the choices of which friendo to be like, with, and now you're going to have more exploration of the town. Like since, two and uh, a half hours in. Well, there was a lot of talking and backtracking. So, yeah. Go down there. So it is only uh, B and Greg that you have to choose from, right? Yes. Okay. Hey, it's the guy fishing. What's up? Many miners, old and young, with some uh, with home and heart and coal and lung, were taken by the trolley men up to the mine and back again. But mudslide, flood, and awful storm have given tunnel fishes home. Um, harm. Horm? Please stop listening. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, I'm Horm. <laughs> I love that one. <laughs> That's pretty good. Oh, I can't believe they've kept this open. Historical note, I guess. I think it's just because uh, old people like pierogi, Stan. See, pierogi is another uh, Pittsburgh thing. Pierogi! Yeah, well, I remember not Pittsburgh, from... Pittsburgh, but Pennsylvania thing. Yeah. My mom fucking loves pierogies. And... The, only, the, only, the only time I've ever heard pierogi mentioned in any other pop culture thing is Men in Black. <laughs> when the two aliens were at the restaurant. Well, see, it Eating. makes sense because that's in New York, and it's a very Eastern thing because it's a, uh, I want to <laughs> say, Dutch food. Hmm. And it's like, you know how you get, like, a lot of the Koreans down here in Texas? We get that in German. There's a lot of German in Texas. Well, you, you get the, uh, <clears throat> the more northern European folk in the east. Yeah, so. yeah. You know, you got the, the, the Irish and the Welsh and the <laughs> fucking the Dutch and all those other... Yeah. The white people! Well, so we, we have <laughs> white people. Because Germans aren't white people. Um... Yeah, we have a lot of German influence in Texas because Texas originally started as a German colony. Like, they didn't... Or, uh... It was like when the, the United States was still around, like, right after the Louisiana Purchase, I think. I don't remember exactly why, 
but a lot of German immigrants went even farther west and settled what is what is basically Texas now. Texas is interesting because it's like a mini colonization world. Yeah. Because I mean, look at the like the. Hey, look! I'm a trash can. Check. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, there's a lot of Czech place here too. Well, mainly in West, which is in Central Texas. I know, but that's just <laughs> that that's just really West. weird because you you go to a place and it'll just be like. You know, here you'd think like most people go, oh Texas. So what's their biggest influence? Mexican, <laughs> and it's like no, no, not really. German no. and Czech. <laughs> there's so many fucking people. Well, there's that one pop, that that one. I don't want to say shithole part of town in DFW, <laughs> but like there was a lot of Koreans there. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Like you know, it's just you Texas know what else is a weird melting pot. Well, you know what else is weird? Um. There's a lot of Vietnamese people in Nebraska. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what... That's a weird thing, too. Because I remember um, when I lived in Nebraska, my mom and my stepdad both worked for Sam's Family Foods, or Cook. Cook Family Foods. They, they make, like, uh, really good hand products. And uh, huge factor. I think that's, like, the, one of their main plants of stuff. And, like, we got to go to, like, a, a company picnic and, the, picnic, and there's, like, thousands of people there, and most of them were Vietnamese people. I want to say that... A lot of, like, Vietnamese and Koreans <coughs> immigrated to Canada. Uh, our, our residential Canadian chat member isn't uh, in yeah. on the stream today, so I yeah. can't confirm, but I could have sworn that, that was a thing. <laughs> oh. Amazing to think these things used to run. Kind of amazing they're still down here, too. No way to get them out of here, I guess. This place sure was something a long time ago. Yeah. I know that this is supposed to be, like, a neat thing, but honestly... Oh, wait. Oh. I was gonna say, uh, just real quick, yeah. this would probably be a hellhole in real life. Because think about it, you got dank water down here in tunnels, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, you know probably what stinks? You know what really sucks when it comes to not desert places and you know water like this? Mosquitoes. Oh yeah. Well, I guess everyone has fur, so I guess they're kind of safe. But <laughs> fucking poor alligator people. I mean, oh yeah, they, well, ain't they got, got fur. they got thick scales that mosquitoes I guess, probably can't. Maybe, I don't know. All right. Oh. Cuz this mural is of a historical note, Molly. What do we know? Well, sometime overnight, someone used to used bolt cutters on the gate and came down here. So yeah, this place does close at night. Hmm. What they use is a paint roller. Looks to be. Oh. It says they intend to nuke Poss or something. <laughs> I think it's likely some kid. It's not one of the old nuke possums. Nuke possum springs tags from back then. And I got, <laughs> I got bored halfway through writing it. I think we need to treat this as a terrorist action. I'm sorry. This mural is of historical note. All right, well, I'll round up any uh, terrorists I see. Round up any dirtbags, teens, or vagrants that have been hanging around town. Check out the abandoned food donkey. They come off the train there. Damn kids, already on it. Molly. Yeah? Find whoever did this. Okay. I want to see him hang. I think at most they'd get a fine and some jail time. This was a historical note. Without this, I don't know if there's a reason to keep this place open. Yeah, Colleen, we all know what you think. What, you think I wanted this? It's not like any of you has I, had ideas for this place. Colleen, we're not going to put a rest home down here. It's just wasted space. And they're down here anyway, trolley side news every day. We're not putting our elderly in a hole. Yeah, Colleen. At least if we closed it, we wouldn't have to keep an eye on this place. Thank you, Molly. That's helpful. 
You're all done. I got things to do. Yeah, I didn't even notice it first. Like someone fucking paint rolled the thing. Yeah, fine. This was a historical note. <laughs> this sure is a picture. 